Hello YouTube, is that Game Tamer here? And I know a lot of you have been waiting for the Scriptic V update, but there might not be a Scriptic V update or it might be a little late. We might not know. So um I found a way to get my GTA 5 to work. And I have the CD version, so I don't have the Steam version. But I found some links that can help you if you have the Steam version. So um, what you want to do is download the files needed. If you look down below and check the description, you should see all the download links. So don't forget to check out the description. Okay, so where did I get all of these links? So one of the links I got from Julio Nibs channel. Okay, another one I got from Ultra Prime. And I got another link from Satchis Ramesh. I don't know how to say his name or her name. So you guys please go, you know, support their channels. These are their links, not mine, but my tutorial is different from theirs. Okay, so first what you want to do is download the files needed. Like I said, if you already got that done, open up your GTA V main directory. All right, so now you want to back up your game. So what you want to do is select your update folder and then select GTA 5, GTA V launcher, and then select mvpmapi.core.164.dll also select play gta5 and version okay so now what you want to do is copy these so let me go to my desktop i'm gonna create a new folder i'm gonna name it important these files are important do not lose them if you want to play online you have to put these files back and your game should update and then you should be able to play online All right. It should take a while to. So once everything is done pasting into your important folder, you should be good to go. Okay, so like I said, if you want to go to GTA Online, you have to replace and put these files back. Alright, so now what you want to do is open up your main directory. Um, the script took V fix. This one did not work for me, but I'll show you guys how to install this. This might work for some Steam users because I have the CD version again. All right, so let me start with um, installing the GTA 5 patch. So uh, for this one, all you have to do is select all these files except update.rpf. Drag these into your main directory. All right, I already have them, so replace. Next, what you want to do is go to update, delete the update file, and then drag update.rpf into here. Alright, so that's good to go. We can X out the GTA 5 patch. Alright, so also go back to your downloads. There's this one called GTA 1032. This one has a password in it. The password is SHV1032. Alright, so this is if, um, if the patch doesn't work, all you have to do is just replace your GTA 5.exe with this. Because this is an older version, uh, it should work. Alright, so we don't need it right now, but in the future. Alright, next what we want to do is uh, install No Launcher GTA 5. So select No Launcher and then select No SC.DLL. Drag him into your main directory. Replace, since I already have him. Alright, so we can X that out. Now... Uh, GTA V launcher bypass just select these files drag them into here replace all right we can X that out now let me start up GTA 5 and show you guys that it works for me so just click no launcher GTA 5 and then it should start up GTA 5 
So it takes a bit of time. You have to have patience. It took like uh, 10, 15 seconds. All right, let me sign in. So, <clears throat> so I don't know why it wants me to sign in, but I think I know it's because of um, the script of the thing I did. But I'm gonna sign in anyways. All right, so I signed in. All I have to do now is just click story mode. Okay, so GTA has successfully loaded up. So um, let me show you guys that mods work for me. So if I press Control N, Julio Nibs, let's see, equip Green Goblin. Oh, why is it? Why am I rigged? I'm probably gonna have to fix that with open IV while wow, my glider is a chair. Let go of the car, Rick. All right, so let me show you guys the flash mod. Why is my glider attacking? As you guys can see, mods do work. Let me show you guys the flash mod. Ooh. So control N, the flash, equip suit, savatar to flash. So once I press equip savatar, um, I'm gonna have to update my mods folder, but as you guys can see, the flash mod works. But as you guys can see, mods do work. So uh, the first method worked for me. All right, the second method. All right, so for the second method, what you're going to do um, is called the script hook V fix. All you have to do is select these files, all these files, drag them, and then replace these files in here. So replace. But make sure you backed up your files like I did. I have my files backed up to my desktop and important. All right, so if you have Steam API DLL, make sure you back that up too because I don't have that. But you're also going to replace that for the script hook V fix. And this does not work for me. So update the RPF. So go to update, delete this. And then drag the update to RPF. Alright, so then all you have to do is start up GTA using no GTA 5 launcher. And it starts up GTA for me, but then it just... It tells me that I'm not signed in or something. So there's GTA 5. And then, yeah, I get this activation required. So this may work for the people with Steam, but it doesn't work for me. But thank you guys for watching. I hope both of these methods, one of them works for you guys. And I hope Scriptook V gets updated. But thank you for watching again. Help me hit 2,000 subscribers. And don't forget to share this video if it helped you out. Help someone else. Thank you guys.